print-on-demand marketplaces like Redbubble and Society6 and a ton others have made it super easy for people to customize and sell a variety of products from pants and t-shirts to backpacks and mouse pads. But today we're talking about notebooks and that is a massive niche. People love customizing and or searching for a custom notebook and you don't have to be a master at putting pattern together. You don't have to be a master at Procreate or anything like that. You can make some stellar notebook covers in Kittle and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So let's dive in. But first, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And if you're new to Kittle, that is our online design tool. You don't need to download anything. It works right in your browser. It comes with fonts, illustrations, everything I'm going to show you today. So go ahead and sign up for free and then follow along with me. So let's get started. All right, to get started, we're gonna change our dimensions. So we're gonna go down here and we're going to type in 1756. And this is what's coming straight from Redbubble for the spiral bound notebook. Of course, you wanna put in whatever you need for whatever POD you might be using. But for this one, we're gonna go with the spiral bound for Redbubble. Now we're gonna go over into the photos category. I've already typed in clouds because that's gonna be the backdrop for this notebook. We're gonna make this kind of dreamy style uh, design. And so I'm just gonna scale this up pretty big because I want those clouds really big front and center. I don't want them to be super far away. I want this to kind of be like we're in the clouds here. I'll set it to overlay and then I can start moving the color adjustment around. Can you move the background color uh, to a place where I just want those clouds to be kind of faint, almost like kind of a retro-y style. Uh, I can play around and choose some other blending modes, but I'm thinking that probably overlay looks the best uh, for this kind of light, dreamy aesthetic here. So I think it looks pretty good. I like how the clouds are placed right here. So let's go ahead and lock this. You can just hit the little lock symbol and boom, that's locked. Now let's add some texture, but first let's go ahead and change this to photo. I don't want to miss where my layers are. So I labeled that photo. And now I think adding a marble texture is going to be cool. So you see that kind of weird dreamy effect that it's giving. I like this one, but maybe this one's a little bit better. It's kind of even more wobbly. Um, it just makes a really cool, hazy, dreamy effect. It also kind of gives it that weathered look. Um, so you can click around and find one that you like. I think this one looks pretty good, but I'm gonna lower the opacity because again, this is more of a dreamy uh, after effect style that I'm adding on top of these clouds. So the clouds are already kind of uh, adding a lot for me. So I'm gonna release that texture and then I'll double click in. I'm gonna add this as marble. I'll label it as marble there so I don't forget it. And then what we can do is lock this one. And since I released it, now we can add more. You can add as many textures as you want. So now what I can do is go up here and I can click on the paper textures because I think adding a paper texture is gonna actually give it that kind of retro-y um, kind of collage looking, maybe scrapbooking vibe that we're going for for this notebook cover. And so I'm just gonna lower the opacity. I think that looks good. I like the little grainy bits that are coming through. I think that makes a really cool effect. Now what we can do is go over to illustrations and we're going to add some vintage flowers and some butterflies to make this scene. So what I can do is find one that I like. I really like this one. I'm gonna scale it up just a little bit and I'm gonna start making this kind of uh, corner bottom frame, if you will, uh, where flowers are gonna kind of come out of the side. And I know it might look kind of strange right now, but as we start adding more, you can start to kind of visualize what this might be on a notebook. And I think that'll look really, really cool, especially for a spiral bound. And then the, the hard cover, which we're gonna do right after this, I'll show you how to convert the same notebook cover into a hardback by expanding it with a neat little trick. So I'm thinking this is starting to look pretty good. And then we can group these together. You can hit Command or Control G to group your flowers together. And then what we need to do is go over here into the abstract because I'm gonna add some clouds behind this to give it that, again, kind of retro-y etched look. And so I can just pick a couple of these. I like this one. I'm gonna change the color, right, not be black. I think I'm gonna go with a more uh, kind of creamy color that matches the clouds. I'm gonna set it there in the background. And now what I can just do is format this to make it look kind of like these, these flowers are kind of in this, this etched scene, if you will. And I think that it's cool. I think it adds just a little bit of an extra element. It also helps kind of differentiate the flowers from the clouds. Again, we're building this kind of dream setting so you can really go wild with it and, and do kind of anything you want um, with your notebook cover. So let's make sure these are all the same color, of course. And then what I can do is I can select all of these, command or control G, boom. 
Now I'm gonna put this as hatching or you could label it as clouds or whatever it is you want. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value from this notebook cover tutorial, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and that red subscribe button. Then let me know down in the comments, are you a fan of soft cover, hard cover, or spiral bound notebooks? I kind of go back and forth, but I think I lean towards soft covers and the reason is Maybe it depends on the quality, but they're generally easier to put in my backpack. Uh, they don't take up much space. They kind of sit a little bit flatter. I have nothing against hardcover and spiral brown. I have a couple of them, but I think I prefer soft cover. But I'm interested to know what you think, so comment down below and then let's get back to the tutorial. And then what we'll do is we'll go back and we will find some more illustrations. And I think these vintage insects, we're gonna use specifically butterflies because I think one, they're very close to the detail of the, the flowers already, and I think they are really cool. It's just going to create that little cool uh, added effect here on the front cover. And so now what I'm going to do is go over to these panels element because I think adding a panel where you can either insert your name or a catchy title uh, would be really cool. So that way you know what this notebook is for. Of course, you could just go off the visuals. But adding a little banner, a little text element, I think would be really cool. So let me size this up. I like this kind of vintage ornate one for this. I'm going to change the colors because that green was a little bit too intense. Uh, I want it to be more creamy or hazy, if you will, uh, and a little bit more muted, blending into the background. And now I can add my text. I like this Everia right here. This really light serif font is really nice. It's actually one of my favorite fonts to use. Um, and so I'm going to make it all headline. I do like using it in the all headline style and then we can double click in and I can put thoughts are free. Of course, you could do anything that you want. I think this really matches the motif that we're going for here. Size it down a little bit and I think it's a good idea to maybe increase some letter spacing and I just want it to fit that frame really well. So I just need to adjust this to make sure that it's sitting there in the middle. But what if you are wanting to convert it to a hardback cover? Well, we need to add a shape because uh, in Redbubble, you need to increase the size, right? You need to increase the horizontal size pixels uh, to upload it because you basically need to do the front and the back together. So I'm adding this box here. I just did a basic shape. And now what I can do is I can go to the size and I can input what it tells me uh, for the hardcover. And it's just basically double that size. So once I have that there, I can confirm it. And you'll notice that once I confirm it, obviously things get a little bit weird. That's okay. I'm going to unlock these things right here because now that I have that block over top of it, I can know right where the corner meets the edge of this notebook cover. So I'm going to grab everything. And so all I have to do is line up the right side of that block because I've already basically kind of traced around it. So now I can line it up with the right to make sure that when I upload this, the front cover, the right side panel, the front cover of the hard book notebook is correct. And then all we have to do is just move our clouds over. I know it's gonna look a little bit different. Of course, you could get it to be the same if you if you really wanted to. Then we can just scale up our marble texture there and, and do with it whatever we need to do. And I think that's looking pretty good, pretty easy, just like that. And so now all we really need to do is basically continue filling out the left side of our notebook, which would be the back with more flowers flowers and more butterflies. And so we can do that really easily. I'm just going to I'm going to time lapse through this and show you how I'm kind of making this collage of florals. Some are in front, some are behind. Once you download this, which in the download settings, this is the minimum that they ask for in Redbubble, but why not just make it even bigger so we can increase this if we want to. And then I can also hit optimize quality. It'll just take a little bit more time, but it'll give you the best resolution, of course. And then you can download whatever you need to for your hardcover book. And so here are our finished graphics, our finished notebook covers. Here's what it might look like on a spiral bound book. And here's what it will look like on a hardcover. I hope you have a ton of fun making your own print on demand notebook. Now I have a whole playlist of videos dedicated to print on demand here on my right. And I know you're going to enjoy it. So check that out. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and for using Kittle. Until next time, create magic.